by creating an imaginary picture. Usually it's something that moves. Today we're going to make one of the first French recipes I learned, which is potage du barry, or a cauliflower soup. It's very easy. You need two tablespoons of butter, a chopped onion, or the white part of leek. You'll also need a head of cauliflower chopped, or you can use frozen. I would use two bags. And a potato, all peeled and chopped. We'll also use some creme fraiche here. You can also use heavy cream. And then we need salt, pepper, and nutmeg. Step one, we're gonna melt that butter and add in the onion. I use onion because when I learned this recipe, I don't even think I knew what a leek was. So I've always made it with onion. I've made it with leeks a few times. Use what you've got or what you like. Um, just cook those down, kind of keep them moving until they're translucent. Then we'll add in the rest of the vegetables here. The potatoes, the cauliflower, and we'll top that with some chicken stock. I then add a little bit of water here to cover. The recipe did, original recipe said three cups. Um, if I have a container, that's what I use. If I have homemade, that's what I use. Then I use a spoon of better than bouillon chicken. You can use the cubes if you're old school. And then you put in your spices and we're gonna let this boil. This is a very forgiving soup. If you're watching your fat intake, you can use um, olive oil instead of butter, and you can leave out the cream altogether. We're going to boil this until the veg is tender, and then we will blend it up. I use a stick blender these days. If you don't have one of these, and you should have one of these, but if you don't, you can put this in carefully in batches into a regular blender but I would cool it off a bit first it's hard to blend hot stuff now I'm using half a cup of creme fraiche here the original recipe I believe was a cup and a half of heavy cream which you could also use and now that our soup is blended we're just gonna stir that in and it's ready to serve voila let's dress it up a bit with a bit of butter and another shake of nutmeg across the top. Bon appetit! What was the first recipe you learned? Leave me a comment below. Au revoir, bye bye!